Hi guys, DJ Jack back when you here real quick with another video. And in this video, I wanted to say, um, it, today, um, two albums, real rock albums released, um, this de day, October 3rd. First one that released this day in uh, uh, October 3rd, 2000, Green Day released their warning album, the album that gave us Minority, The Warning, of course, Deadbeat Holiday, and all these other ones. One of Green Day's not so recognizable albums that should give more credit than it doesn't get. So than it gets. So um, I love the Warning album and the 2001. But some people have like it's been a album that's been forgotten a little bit by Green Day days mentioned a little bit, but. Um, Billy Joe Armstrong was recently, um, about a, maybe early in the, in the, in the year, was at a bar in London, and Green Day was, at least, and they were played in this very tiny bar where everybody was so next to each other, and he mentioned that the warning song is his favorite song, and if he said, if you got, if you, to the fans, if you guys don't like it, too bad, we're playing it, <laughs> yeah. Also, another album turning tur that has an anniversary today. The album, the 1980 album by The Police. Don't ask me to say the title because the title is definitely, definitely very long and not in English. The album that gave us Don't Dance So Close to Me. And the one other one, I forget the how how to pronounce the name because it's like it's like awkward words because and it's in, it's one of the well known singles hit singles on that on that album of their 1980 album the album that gave us don't stand so close to me and this uh, and the other one that's called like d do do d a do a do a whatever it's called it's great it's a great 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 song really great song it's just the song title is not in english it's, it has very awkward words and but you know what I, I love it i mean the song is great it's definitely a classic so yeah that album gave a that uh, op, uh, released this day october 3rd 1980 so and it was it sold oh, it went on to sell millions of copies in the US over millions of cop millions of copies in the US in the US so yeah very 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 great happy anniversary to both of these records green days 2000 album that released this day in 2000 and the other one um what you call it um the the police 1980 album yeah that one that gave us don't stand so close to me and those other songs um that are on that record that i don't really know besides the one other one i just talked about that was just had very awkward title um to it but yeah very 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 good classics and very very much legacy for both of these bands so yeah and besides that that's all i wanted to say um also no, I don't want to end here. For first, we want to say happy birthday. Gwen, Gwen Stefani um, is its birthday today. It's also the birthday of Chubby Checker. Yes, Chubby Checker, well known for the 1960s classic The Twist. You probably all remember know or know that song really well. Also, um, the song Let's Twist Again. A lot of Chubby Checker songs. Most people that that don't know Chubby Checker very well probably will only know the twist song that he did but he had a lot of other great hits and a lot of other great songs like Twi let's twist again and a few others very very good and chubby checker i i believe i heard he is from he's from he's originally from like i don't know if he was born here in pennsylvania or exactly but i know he's from philly somehow because he's living there or something and some people say they run into him at the King of Prussia Mall sometimes. Uh, uh, that's what I've that's what I've heard from somebody. Um, my aunt said said that. But yeah, I mean, Chubby Checker. He's also a local. Yeah, happy birthday to him. I can't believe he. I believe they said he was 84, 82. Um, I think is how old he's turned today. Very very exciting. And also, um, Lindsey Buckingham, the guitarist of the well known band Fleetwood Mac, his birthday's today too. And his birth, yeah, it's his birthday and, and stuff. So happy birthday to him too. And um, I understand it. Sadly, um, we know um, Kristen McVie is not living with us anymore. And um, Stevie Nicks said something recently, saying that there's no, they can't do a Fleetwood Mac reunion without without Kristen Kristen McVie. So. Um, 
And Lindsey Buckingham somehow doesn't really want anything to do with the, the other members of Fleetwood Mac. It's like they totally like just went their separate ways. It's it's a shame. It's a shame, you know? It'd be great to see a reunion between them, but yeah, mm, it's what it is. I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, very, very, besides that, that's all I have for you guys. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll talk later. Thanks. That's all my music news. Yep.